Okay, well I promised some updates on the boxy box from D-Link, so if you haven't seen it already, this is the boxy. It's a little uh, cube guy that sits preferably somewhere near your TV so that you can uh, stream media from the internet as well as from your home network. So I know I had complained initially about um, some, well, uh, a lot of the content being more for US customers and uh, not really much of it working in Canada. But what I was not aware of at the time is that, yeah, that might may be true for the repositories, bearing in mind that the repositories that I was looking at are primarily third-party apps, okay? But that is actually not the case for a lot of the stuff under the Shows menu. So uh, here's a perfect example, uh, is South Park, where it's listing all of the episodes of South Park and you can either access them. Oh, and this is cool, check this out. So it actually integrates the ones that you can access from the Comedy Network with the ones that you have stored on your own local server. So check this out. So you can play via a local file. Apparently I have two copies of this episode by accident. Or you can actually use the ad supported Comedy Network link to stream it online. So it goes ahead and sorts all of your media, which I don't have named in any particularly proper way, and uh, and sorts it all according to the season, the episode, the show, and then which... Here, here's one I think that I actually don't have. Yeah, so there you go. That's one I don't have on my home server. So it gives you whatever options you have available to watch that content, which is pretty cool. And Boxy is committed to doing updates as often as every week or two until they get the Canadian content situation down to uh, down to the point where they can actually filter out most of the stuff that's not actually available in Canada. So uh, I haven't actually tried any other ones yet. I just went with the South Park example because I knew it would uh, I knew it'd be a good example because of uh, the fact that I have a lot of the South Park media on my home server. But uh, here we go. Why don't we try something else? Why don't we try The Apprentice, a show I have heard much about but never actually watched. Now the loading times for the web content are not ideal yet, although I believe that is something that they're working on. And they're also working on the integrated browser to make it um, to make it easier to go straight into full screen mode to play the media instead of going to a browser where you uh, where you actually use the boxy controller to maximize to full screen and make any changes that you want to. So far, this is what I'd consider pretty typical loading time for a show. Uh, I am running on a Powerline home network, so I am not on Wi-Fi, in case you're wondering. By the way, the color of the TV is just because I did white balance wrong, and uh, so it's showing up kind of bluey. I guess while we wait, we can see my cats who are uh, playing in my Christmas tree. Thanks, guys. That's really useful of you. I'm sure glad that you're there to... Uh, destroy things and knock down the uh, the baubles on the tree. Fortunately, I got the unbreakable kind, so I don't have to worry too much about them, you know, getting glass all over the floor. Well, here, why don't I fix my white balance? Oh, there we go. Hey, hey, Global TV, The Apprentice. All right, now I gotta find the remote, which I put down. I love the remote for the boxy, it's so awesome. Keyboard on one side. Just general navigation on the other side. It's awesome. So what I'm going to want to do when it's done searching for the video is I can actually use the uh, the D-pad here to move the mouse around and then I can I can manually maximize the movie myself and watch it in full screen mode just like that. There we go. So I just have to wait for it to buffer and then it should start playing. Here we go. Flexible market. Uh-huh. Well, we have one that lets you put extra money in, take it out any time, and skip a payment once a year. It's our year in the box. Video quality is actually surprisingly good considering, well, hold on. Are you sure you want to leave this video? Yeah, I want to leave this video. Uh, video quality is actually surprisingly good given that you're streaming on the internet, but I guess uh, compared to watching on your computer, you're sitting a lot further away from the TV, so that helps a lot. Anyway, so that, I wanted to show the shows part of the boxy menu and uh, demonstrate that that is content that is ready for Canada. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. I don't know about uh, movies actually, but um, 
Yeah, here. Well, since we're since we're working on this, why don't we just like do that? Okay, so what movies do we have? Dragon Hunter, Legend of the Hidden City, March, Astronauts, Other People's Parties, Hitman Heart, NFB, Ad Supported. So there it is. It was a streamed movie. I'm not going to wait for this to load right now, so I'll just let you guys know if it was a similar time. I'm going to just turn the camera off for now. Yeah, okay, that one didn't work for me, and uh, neither did Project Grizzly. They both sort of tried to load forever and didn't really work. But uh, they were both hosted on the same site, so uh, maybe support's going to be improved for that one in the upcoming firmware updates. But this one worked really well, and actually this is a perfect example of uh, how this whole thing should work. So it opens up extremely quickly, and uh, it's ready to go just like that. So I can pause it as well. Ooh, can I fast forward even? Oh, I can skip ahead. What about fast forward? Oh, I can skip ahead a little bit. Okay, not sure what they're up to, but uh, apparently this is some kind of psychological adventure movie. Yeah, it's a psychological adventure that breaks and distorts the rules of reality. Interesting. Okay, anyway, thank you for checking out my video on, I guess, both the shows as well as the movies tabs within the boxy box. I think we had a look at apps already, as well as files. Files is excellent, by the way. And, uh, oh yeah, I guess I never really showed the home screen. There you go. Hey, here you go. It's going to show us some uh, cool stuff that just kind of works. Oh yeah, YouTube, of course, is uh, very well supported by the boxy. So why don't we have a look at the Angry Birds Peace Treaty and end on that note. By the way, I quite enjoyed Angry Birds for my iPhone. It was excellent. Thanks for watching Linus Tech Tips and don't forget to subscribe.